I've got the poster here. Yeah. Um, so the the paradise. Uh, shall I just talk about how it started? I guess. Yeah. Okay, and I'll try to put it in a nutshell. I think it was 2007 when it, I had a studio when we were having a lot of guest artists come through, and I realized at one point if we brought everybody together at once, we'd have a nice little small convention. And I remember uh, there was a, a local uh, hotel that we might have been able to do something. And I, I talked to, to Derp from Hell City because he's you know runs arguably the best convention, one of the top you know three conventions in the states. Or the world, I suppose. And um, main point is, he's, he's very meticulous, and I really appreciate his show, and he's he's great. And, this, and so I asked him, I was like, hey, why don't you, you know? And I know a couple of people had, had been asking him to bring Hell City out to New England, and because um, I didn't want to run a convention, I want to live a long, healthy life. But uh, what Dirk said was, he's like, nah, nah, I'm I'm going out uh, west, going to go out to uh, Arizona, but I could help you know you run a show if you want to, and. Um, I was both like wicked excited and also like, oh, wait a minute. This means that I actually kind of have to run a show, right? Like I'm sure Derb doesn't offer that help to too many people. And um, so it became kind of apparent, like if I could, you know, if that's a possible resource, I should definitely try to figure out how to make it happen. Now, the, the local venue was not right. You know, it was, uh, uh, yeah, it just wasn't right. And so it took about six months of just you know, a little bit searching for venues. But uh, ultimately, I went up to Jiminy Peak, which is where the, the show is, uh, or started, and it's where it is now. And they have an alpine slide. So I was up there with my daughter doing the alpine slides. And to make, I guess I'm making a short story long, a long story medium length. Uh, uh, big point is, as we were going around, all of the people like, oh, you have tattoos. You know, we had a biker show uh, here last weekend. And, you know, I like bikes. I've ridden bikes, you know, around the country back. Uh, uh, but like, I'm not like part of biker culture necessarily. I mean, I kind of grew up in it, but like mostly I keep my tattoos. I, I had kept most of my tattoos in my biking separate or, or culture. So anyway, main point is I was a little bit put out. I'm like, yeah, I know tattoos, bikers, blah, blah. And, uh, but as we were getting on the, I think it was a roller coaster and as we were going down the, the, the startup track, anybody that's been to Jimmy Peak knows you, you got to go on the Alpine slides or the, or the roller, co roller coaster. You can plug in uh, the Alpine slide. You could go flying off. So if you're into danger, go on the Alpine slide. If you want to have all the thrill but be safe, you could strap in and you, again, it's like seatbelts and shit. You're on a track, it's a roller coaster. Anyways, as we're going down, the, the person said again, you know, oh, tattoos. I was like, yeah, I know you had a biker show here last weekend. He's like, oh, yeah, how'd you know? I'm like, people can't stop talking about it. And I was like, wait a minute, how many people were here? And it was like, about a thousand. And I was like, you could have, a, you had a thousand bikers here? And the guy was like, oh, yeah, it was great. And so I was like, hmm. And then we started going up the roller coaster and it was like, you know, quiet, peaceful, you know, middle of the woods. We should probably have like B-roll and stuff here to be playing. But yeah. um, I was like, wow, can you, I wonder if you could bring, you know, a thousand tattoo clients and tattoo fans and tattooers out here. And um, so it, it became pretty apparent there that we found kind of the venue, although it was definitely crazy because Jimmy Peak is in the least densely populated town in Massachusetts. Not necessarily the least population, although it's probably a contender for that, but um. It's very quiet up there. Very, very, very quiet. So um, to, to, to take the long story and make it shorter and squish it, uh, for that very first year, we had found the venue. My wife uh, teaches infants, and so she uses the environment as a teacher. As I mean, I, you know, we could dive into that. But main point is we try to use the environment as a teacher, and Jimmy Peak was a, a perfect spot. So there's a, a focus on education and, and reduction of distractions. Um, again, you know, everyone likes to have fun and whatnot, but, you know, usually one or two people will go home because they're, they're there to party or they can't handle their booze around all the other people or whatever. But um, we're there to, like to, to reduce distractions, to learn about tattoos and to learn and be inspired. And, and uh, yeah, it's great. Anyways, there's the, the origin story in a nutshell.